recording started. Let's see. So, last night, what was it? It wouldn't let me select options, yeah? Correct. Well, let's see if it works. We were this just time. about to go into the mansion, and it glitched up when they do anything. Beautiful. Let's see if this works. So I've read, I looked up like some reviews for it, and it looks mm. like like reviews for it are kind of all over the place. Well, I mean that's to be expected. It's <laughs> <clears throat> gonna cough. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Some people like this. Some people. I think it's kind of boring. Some people think Cthulhu isn't scary anymore. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm of the opinion that Cthulhu is potentially scary, but in a lot of cases it's starting to get really washed up and overused. So. I mean, when you're uh, at the point where you can buy stuff to keep Cthulhu's, I think maybe you've jumped a shark a little bit. Yeah, exactly. But at the same time, it's all about how you use it, so... I mean, Lovecraft King Horror is more about atmosphere and well, the sense here we are. of, uh, Hawkins Mansion. not being able to fight back, so it's... Yeah. Like, you just have to... Like, you could do it... I think it's just you'd have to do it without Cthulhu. You'd have to just like the do it. The place has been abandoned since the fire. Which is very possible. There's only old Winchester in his hut. How many of Lovecraft's stories actually involved Cthulhu? Very few, actually. Exactly. Like, I see no scorched oh, trees now. or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. <laughs> His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? Who is Silas again? I actually can't remember now. You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. Well, it took it's a very to old building, you know? Characters was... Its foundations would probably I'm date from here the arrival of the begin, first settlers. Way. Are you? It's really that old. Come on, let's leave the stories of the dead alone. It nothing to do with yeah. your case anyhow. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. Now? Uh, I don't hear it, I don't think. Okay. Hey, You're the one who right? looked after the mm -hmm. Hawkins yeah. case. Good. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, oh, he ain't been not met Silas yet. But since mm -hmm. the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee. If you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? <laughs> Little Corky, oh my god. Uh, 
I think you picked everything. Yeah. So I think it's time to it's time. Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Uh, should I let him come with me? Or should I refuse? Uh... I don't completely uh, trust this guy. Yeah, neither do I. I'd say we refuse. Mm. You stay here and keep an eye on things. Okay. But don't get the impression that I'll leave you alone inside the mansion. Let me see if I got any points I can use to... I have zero CP. Let's see... Miss Bradley... 37? Wow, he's a... He's an old 37. Well, I mean, he also has face cut open, so... Yeah. And I'm also that does tend to have a little bit of age. Shit. One moment. I did put on push to talk, by the way, so it shouldn't be bad unless I'm like actually talking. All right, let's so. go now. Raven. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Jeepers is not. <laughs> alright, can you hear me alright? Yeah, I hear you fine. Alright, uh, still reverb or not? No. Alright. Don't talk much. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. 1693, Jesus. That is pretty old. I, mean, I would love to live in a house built in 1693. Oh, same, totally. Poor kid. I like how I ooed over a child's grave. Oh, uh, yeah? Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? That was accidental. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Find another entrance. I don't know if it's just uh, the Discord screen share. But on mine, it looks like you're uh, skipping a few frames every. Whoa! Uh, Whoa! That might be a screen share thing since I'm recording. You are trying to force the yeah. door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, alright? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? Oh, this is my We got them! So Dump them into the ocean! Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I don't think you should command somebody to lower an axe. Oh, I'm timed. You haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. 
That's true. I want no more violence. No more tragedy. It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin? Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. That's not shady okay, at all, huh? Mm, I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. Right. Take the key Terrible and do what you have to do. Off. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Alright, so what's your idea on Sadler so far? My idea? Like, yeah. he's amazing. He's the hero no, 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 no. needs. No, no, no. You think he's evil? You think he's, uh... Oh, I think like, he's insane. I mean, it's a fucking Call of Cthulhu game. Everybody's insane. This gate is locked. But do you think he's trustworthy? <laughs> it's a Call of Cthulhu game. Of course he isn't trustworthy. Trust no one in Call of Cthulhu. Actually, I would say that Officer Bradley it's probably the most trustworthy one you've met so far. Mm -hmm. Simply because he seems really by the book and like he just wants... He's a, He's a square. He wants to keep the peace. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's supposed to be where Silas lives, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's up that in the makes sense. Come on, I want the axe. Oh, no, you have wondering. to hunt vermin with your bare hands. I don't even have your bare hands anymore. Shit. I still hate that I can't jump. I always want to jump. Yeah. The poor wretch seems to spend the best part of his time isolated from the world. Rather Spartan. The caretaker has simple tastes. I know a thing or two about solitude myself. Still in there. Alright, I guess we gotta go up this way. I'm just wasting my time. Yeah. I assume there's no back door. Uh, you know what? I didn't okay. go back there. Yeah. Uh, no, it's just. What about from the other side? I was just over there. I don't think there's anything over there. Uh -huh. Bourbon. Empty, of course. Can you go up that ramp? I sure can. Hey, yo. Okay, I, I can see in there, but I can't get in. Interact with anything, yeah. Oh. Can't even walk off edges. That's pretty bad. But hey, everybody knows jumping wasn't invented until uh, 1973. Really? Yeah. What happened? Did someone get pinched in the ass and discovered by accident? No. Uh, who was it? Van Halen made that song. Which one? The one called Jump. Mm. Well, here's a thing we didn't know until now. Thanks, Ed. Yes. 
Shall we I end? Don't know if I, I don't now know that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You're right. Let's go. I don't like his attitude. Oh, me, you're some stranger that just came to town and wants to go inside. to a I'm abandoned with mansion. You. What do you expect? No way I'll leave you alone in there without a watchful eye. Like I say, he's probably the most trustworthy person on this fucking island. <laughs> Watch the most trusty worthy person be Cat, the freaking criminal. Hey, uh, ah, that's hey. possible. What are you doing, puppy? I got a hold of my rainbow pride flag, and now it's just ripping into it. Oh, pupper. Now it's a war banner. Have fun. <laughs> it's a corgi war banner. Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? Ooh, I gained one CP. So it's character. Indeed. All right. I, I don't know why I didn't really, really. What? 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 You want to play? Oh. Okay, come here. Come here. All right. You want it? All right. Run away. All right. Maybe she just really likes uh, Call of Duty. The Last and Supper of the, the Hawkins. What does this tell me? I'm lighting the world with my Zippo. What, now, now you want to come over here? She's chewing on my foot. One. Good. Alright, come here. We're gonna play Call of Cthulhu with a puppy in our lap. This is an awkward, awkward way to play this game. Alright, come on. Come on. Isn't that go. how you played last night? Yeah, for a little bit. Until she jumped off. There you go. I see a roast. This roast? What strange creature has flesh like this? I mean, it looks like a turkey. That How does Wait, that look up. like a turkey? I only saw the other end. Like, I thought is... it was like a turkey breast. A, tur a single turkey breast? Yeah, well, I mean, from the other side. Oh my god, what the... Is that an eyeball? I believe so. Oh my god. It's like... It's like the roast beast from, uh, like... You know, the Grinch? Remember what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, this place is for the head of the family. Charles Hawkins. Uh, he looks like an angry individual. Is he, oh, yeah, he doesn't look too happy. He looks startled, though. Like, the way it was a cheer coming back. Something Yeah. Here. Like, oh, my God. This, this You're dog. not angry. Something I'm missing. Uh, Doris? No? Yeah, I know. Let's see. Hold up, where's he looking? <gasps> here. Yeah. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Alright, so he was angry at the sun. No, no, no. The sun startled too, but that's why he dropped the plate. Sarah Hawkins didn't eat. Was it because of the meat? Or, maybe. or something else? Something happened at this table. An argument? Yeah. This meat is really Anger. Weird. It is. It's hard to say. Hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Yeah, well, we're not just looking for the fire. We're here to investigate everything. Yep. My, my light's crap. I'm gonna get a better light. What kind of a freaking PI only has a... Sarah Hawkins and little light. Simon. The perfect yeah, picture of the middle class family. 
Also, anybody playing uh, Visage at the moment because that game came out recently, and that is your main source of light in that game. What's the game called? Visage, or Visage, however you want to say it. Uh, yeah, oh, this puppy's. I can't even have my hand on the mouse because this puppy wants attention. She just wants all the attention, don't you? go anywhere. I'm assuming that's where I was supposed to go, because that's where all the charred stuff is, so I'm just... Oh, hello. What is that? Charles Hawkins, some kind of explorer. Ooh. Hey, look, I found all these pyramids. It's like, sorry, we yeah. already knew they were there. Okay. Also, that is not the proper attire for being in the desert. No, that's like jungle attire, but... Too much rubble. I'll find an easier way. Like, that man died of overheating. <laughs> Just like he wore it during the fire for leaving it with protection. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, what a good puppy. I actually didn't think about the fire until halfway through that sentence. But, yes, he died of overheating. It's like, Dad, you need to get he out to the also died in Egypt. He also died in Egypt. <laughs> died multiple times. It was a slow burn. Huh? They seem happy, but Charles is already looking off into the future. His marriage just to stop along the way. Mm -hmm. She says it's court. Ooh, ow, oh, I burned my hand. That makes sense, actually. Oh, you know what? That's a nice attention to detail, actually. What, if you keep the ladder out too long? Yeah. Let's see I if I can find that. something the cops missed. Nice. I mean, yeah, I mean, a lot of games, you just keep it out there indefinitely or yeah. until it ran out of fuel. No, that's a... Uh -huh. I can appreciate that. Yeah. You, you have 2 CP, by the way. Yeah, I know, and I'm dealing with a very, very squeaky puppy right now. What? Yeah. Ooh, you want attention? He wants all the attention, and I'm trying to record this. <laughs> The child's corpse left a trace. Ooh. Where are the others? That's... Oh. Oh, that makes me sad. <laughs> hmm. Was Charles Hawkins a heavy that? drinker? Everyone's a heavy drinker. Yeah, like, again, it's the 20s. Yeah, uh, like... Like anyone's shocked at this point. It's like, this person was drinking. Of course he was. They had a fight. Why? Go back over to uh, Charles real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, is that bow clipping through his hand? No, it's just like clear. his fingers. It looks okay. Yeah. Nah. It might be clipping a little bit down there. Yeah, you see that too. Yeah, hard to tell though. It's not a huge deal. Did it stop at the time of the fire? This is... this isn't good. No, it's not. I think he was hitting her. Okay. Or restraining her. Because remember, there's a lot of suspicion that she was completely insane. Did Sarah Maybe Hawkins was lose one of her shoes? How? No, no, that's hitting. Yeah. That's unfortunate. This is this is getting you really get, deep. This is getting really dark. You can go through that door. What door? You go through you go through the Oh. Well okay. the, That's just Oh just, wait, 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 wait. Turn right. Painting. If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? And again, I still think there might be something outside there, because... No, it won't let me. Uh, nope, but there's Doors. something right there. Did someone escape the fire? I'm sorry, puppy. <sighs> Blood. 
This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. She threw the lamp at him. Mm -hmm. Bet you, yeah, he, he's obviously, obviously he was in the cults or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And the boy. The kid was just a bystander. So detective. Happens to be there. What do you make of it? I think that some of Duh. your colleagues should turn in their badges. <laughs> this room is bursting with evidence that seriously contradicts the official. Don't point. offend the cops, well, of course, please, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> like what? Fuck the police. Someone had too much to drink. I found a bottle of whiskey. Empty. Well, that must have been a loss for you. No oh. glass. I suspect that's, one of them that's drank rude. heavily to that come was, down. Charles that was personal. Probably. That's pretty thin. Who says that bottle hadn't been there for a while? Bodies. I can tell where young Simon was, but not his parents. Where were their bodies found? I can't help you on that one. Charles and Sarah's bodies had already been carried away when I got here. Without your authorization? By whom? Marshal Andrews, Chief West. We never deal with cases like that, you know. So, well, it would seem at least one person fled the crime scene. What'd you say? That mark on the door. Someone's hand slid down there. The left side has no mark. The door was open and that someone left. For God's sake. I mean, if it's Charles or Sarah, they wouldn't have left their son. They would rather die in the flames as a family instead of calling for help? I don't buy it. Oh, yeah? I was under the impression the fire started around midnight. Yes, at Silas banged on our door around 1 a.m. Poor devil ran so hard he was almost belching his lungs out. This clock burned before 10 p.m. That's impossible. What do you imply? Silas never would have hurt the Hawkins family. Besides, Dr. Fuller confirmed the hour of death in his report. Your clock must have already have stopped. Mm. Okay. I'd like to I'd like to make a guess as to what happened. Alright. Spill. Alright. So Sarah and Charles, obviously they were fighting, obviously had a bad marriage. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that there was an affair between Silas and Sarah. Okay. And Silas walked up on Charles and Sarah fighting. Charles was starting to get violent. Silas did what he had to do to keep Sarah safe. Possibly throwing the lantern at Charles and tried to get Sarah out of there. And that's where the marks on the door came from. And yeah. So my theory is that Silas and Officer Bradley were having an affair and this is just an elaborate cover up to, you know, hide what happened during the throes of one of their passionate man love sessions and they accidentally knocked over a, uh, a lamp. Uh, counter argument, mm -hmm. Silas is too old for Officer Bradley. Officer Bradley likes the young ones. That's a very point. Alright, so what should we pick? Doctor. Doctor Fuller? A brilliant surgeon and a friend of the family. I'm sure he took the matter to heart. So, excuse me if I value his opinion over yours. So a be friend it. of the family or a Let's friend of on. one member of the family? I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? Yeah, the couple had a fight, sounds good. I can't read the other two. The uh, quality of the yeah, screen share is going in and out. A couple had a fight. This is arson. This is a crime passion. Ah. Uh, 
It's either crime of passion or a couple had a. I'd say crime of passion. Most likely. I suspect a crime of passion. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. Only one way to be sure. Let's go through this door. Alright, I should yeah. level up a bit right now, shouldn't I? Probably, or you could wait until you could just uh, upgrade something entirely. Alright, what does occultism do? Uh, it's like I think it's just yeah, I can't, I can't raise that. Yeah. That's um, you can only do oh, it yeah, by that's objects. The studied ones. Yeah, it's like that. Three, three, three. I also want to put a. I don't know. What all strength used for? Because we haven't had any combat so far. Yeah, or as you call power. your physical power. Okay, yeah, let's up. I say you get that one. Yeah, get that up to four. There you go. I'm just gonna get swole while we're investigating. Yeah, obviously. I mean, you can't investigate if you can't open the damn door. Alright. Let's see if there's any books here. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. Yeah, well, I think we could get Chief West in some serious trouble. It's over here. Is he over there? I'm going yeah, there. he went that way. It's in here. This door. door is locked. Noticed. I hear a corgi playing with something. Yeah, yeah, I guess she is. She's terrorizing my room right now. Amazing. Ooh, more medicine. That's uh, always useful. Yep. So my medicine progressed again. Yeah, I'm gonna be a doctor by the end of this. I mean, if only it were that easy. Mm -hmm. Just read a couple old texts, you'll be good. It's like, where yeah. did you get your uh, doctor's education? Well, I read these old books, uh, read so we're going to attach some leeches to you and wish the best luck. Yeah. I read some books these from the 1700s. Are in dried blood. You have the same in your bandages blood, that I'm I saw give you in the warehouse on the docks. <laughs> let's and go, given the blood let's stains, go. I'd also say that it's the same person. Shit, I'd be down for it. Mm hmm. Also, these books don't say anything about insurance, so it's going to cost you about $5,000. Rip. Let's see. The lyrics of the drunken sailor. The sea what shanty. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? Uh, I can't make him rest. walk the plank. Is that it? You make him walk the plank, yeah. You didn't know that? Uh, I can I, I, that's only, I can only remember the first couple lines of it. Oh, I mean, make him walk the plank is the first. Uh, first. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Because it changes as you go through. Dated 1818. That would be a cool book to own, an original edition of Frankenstein. I don't know if that'd be a cool book to own. That would uh, make you fucking rich. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to sell this. Fuck yeah! Mm. Let's see what this is. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. Yeah, she's, she, she found a bag and she's tearing it up. Neat. You know what you should give her? What? Uh, empty water bottles. Why? Because the sound of the uh, book on the first passage inhabitants from the water of the bottle. Mm -hmm. Dogs tend to really uh, the 14th century. Like the sound, and they enjoy playing with them. Mm -hmm. Alright. So I just looked it up. Um. The 
Let's see, abooks.com has one copy of the first edition Frankenstein by Mary Shelley available for $4,500. I'd buy it if I had the money. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I'm exploring this just so I can uh, see if I can find as many books as I can so I can have up my skills. Gotta have skills, that's how you get girls. Don't you know that? Dark water history. This Holy place was shit. settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. So, uh, apparently Forbes also reports that somebody is currently Wales, selling Lord Island's Byron's copy of Frankenstein. Century. Like, Lord Byron's original copy of Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. For 350,000 pounds. Which is equivalent to five hundred sixty-three thousand dollars. Her style sure is nice. recognizable. That was in two thousand twelve, though. So twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. That's another one worth a shit ton of money. You know he's collecting these just so he can sell them. I mean, it's a 20, so... They won't be worth much yet. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Dear sir, as you know, I always held you and your family in respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer close my eyes on behavior or wife. As we began, Tara died. Terrified, wow. Terrified my clientele. I know she means no harm, but as she placed her in the care of Dr. Fuller, he alone seems to make her come to her senses. If these disturbances were to recur, believe me that although uh, it would feel like torture, I'd be obliged to involve the police. Respectfully yours, Anton Willard. <coughs> what? <coughs> she wants attention again. She doesn't like Anton Willard. Yeah, I don't Willard. like him either. Oh, Jesus, what the frick? Uh, turn around real quick. See if anything changed. No, nothing like, changed. Like, was that a gameplay bug or was that. I don't know, it's just like a sudden it's shift in lighting. Thing. Oh. Alright. Locked. You just passed up another door. Did I? Yeah, to your left. Oh, hello. Or he left. Oh. Kids' room. The boys' room. Uh, hold up, hold up. Turn around. Turn around the floor. Don't do that yet. Turn around. Left. Left. Okay. I thought that was like blood splatters. That's red block. Oh, what the heck? Hi there. Look at that. All right, we're about to get to my. He takes after his mother. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Yeah. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Look around real quick. Like, don't move. Just look around. You can't investigate the uh, pictures, like, at all. Nope. What was that clock? Wait, what clock? That one. No. Oh, no. Okay. I feel like that's fuck. I oh, there you go. There you go. Tom Sawyer, Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Uh, nightstand. Nightstand. Here. What? Oh. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11 year old boy. What was wrong with this family? <laughs> and now the pictures. What nightmarish vision All could right. have inspired them? 
Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. So I wouldn't mind uh, a history of Sarah's side of the family. Because uh, this is showing some uh, some heritage, some, uh, some hereditary traits. I can now go in here now that I found the key. Oh. Oh my. Well, that's uh, uh, there's scratch marks behind you on the door. Holy. That, that's something big too. That's, jeez. Also, also, look at him again. It's something with two, two yeah. claws. Yes. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Oh yeah, they had some money. Yeah. Oh shoot, that kind of money back then? Yeah, that was... It seems the last they one had was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? The occult elements, ceremonial circle. Okay, that's something. I still have zero percent. I haven't found anything to increase my occultism score. No, you haven't. The door is blocked on the other too. side. Bradley? Is that you? Uh-oh. What will her room reveal about her? You're about to burn yourself with a lighter, by the way. Oh, shit. Wait, is this an actual thing that you're doing? Or is it... This padlock is too complicated for oh, me. Oh, he just did it on his own. Oh, damn, I was about to be like all happy. Like, yeah, I would have been barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. That's seriously what nice. is it? Uh, that was like treated, it was like back then. Barbiturates, oh, no, I, I can't read it. Uh, barbi oh, barbiturates, yeah. It's like an I'm anti -anxiety sorry, anxiety medicine, uh, medicine, but highly addictive. Oh, yeah, no, it's the 20s. It, it's very much so, uh... The medicine was usually worse than whatever you had. Exactly. But also tasty. Oh, I'm sure it was fun. Alright, door to your right. Behind you. Oh, wait, never mind, that was locked. Never mind. Ah! Uh, what is anyone there? Okay. For now. Just remember what a proper light means. If you can see it, it can see you. Excellent. Oh, hi, me. Did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. Catch thief. Look behind you. Look behind where? I said look behind you.
Why is that door? Oh. Yeah, no. The lyrics of the drunken sailor. The sea shanty. Couldn't have gone that way. What would have had to have gone down that hall or out the main door? An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Yeah. Dated 1818. I don't think you're gonna find anything. This in piano there. is in Ooh. disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. Uh, what was that pulse? Does that mean you could do the investigation thing? No. You know, I do the investigation thing, I think, when, uh... uh I saw, like, a okay, pulse so after you. Uh, hmm. Catch the thief. Nope. Left. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. So back here again. Can you investigate that uh, locker right there? Where? The one right in front, behind you. At the foot of the bed. The this? foot locker. The foot locker. Foot locker, no. Okay. Alright, so, you know, I'm just gonna go back where we came from and see if that, that helps. Yeah. Again, he couldn't have gone, gone down that uh, side hall because that's where Bradley came from. Would have had to have been the main door or the hallway over to the left. Where is the main? I'll cover you. Behind you. Okay, I can switch from one light source to the. Okay, because this has infinite fuel, whereas the uh, lamp only goes through a little bit. This door was closed earlier. Well, it's also. And I know that, you know, it probably won't be a thing in this game. Where but the whole go? thing of bigger light source, bigger target. I just gained four character points. Oh Sweet. god. Nice. Nice. Uh, okay. Uh, expert at that. Yeah. So I'm going to show increase next. Uh, I'd say spot hidden. Because I think that that's there. Like it's going to increase the range of where you see the, uh, you know, the interaction. Make it a little bit easier to find everything. Detective Edward Pierce. What that you it looks like an old seaway map. Do you really think that your fugitive came in here? I don't see any way out. Oh, oil refilled. All right. Good. I can fill up my oil with that. So. Yeah. Also, you don't really need you don't really need the land. Dolores Hawkins was keeping her father's letters from her. Hmm. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. This panel is movable. Hey, oh. Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. Force to gear train. Get a He-Man that shit. Great. I managed to force the gears. His hand totally went into Looks the like teeth. I've triggered something. Well done, Pierce. 
as if the bookcase has been moved several times. Have you seen the old maritime maps on Charles Hawkins' desk? Strange. No ship has left Darkwater's shore for years. Maybe he kept them for sentimental reasons. Top it off. This is totally a great place to go.